Hi friends, welcome back to Teaching in Room 9, our region's largest classroom. My name is Julia and I'm one of the second grade teachers at the Soulard School, but here for Teaching in Room 9, all of my lessons focus on math for second graders. Welcome back friends. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join me. I couldn't be happier to be here with you and I'm excited for us to do some more learning here together. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our mindful minute exercise. And since my friends know that we've been focusing on shapes all week long, I thought it was the perfect way for us to warm up our body, for us to recenter our body, our heart and our minds. And then that way we'll be super focused and ready to learn here together. And we're gonna start by doing some shape yoga. So the first shape we made was I am a triangle and we were in downward facing dog because we created a triangle shape with our body. Then we went into I am a rectangle in a plank pose. Then I am a square in that tabletop position on your hands and knees and then we practiced um, cat cow where we let our belly drop low as we breathed in and then our belly came up high or our back came up high as we breathed out. Today friends we are going to do I am a circle. So you're going to do this in child's pose. Child's pose is when you get all the way down into the ground you're basically going to make a ball with your body. Your forehead is going to touch on the ground in front of you. Sometimes when I'm in child's pose, I like to have my arms stretched out. Um, so I get that really nice, good stretch in my back. And then I bring my arms and lay them flat um, next to my sides. So whatever feels most comfortable for you. We're gonna take a couple deep breaths here together. Go ahead and breathe in through your nose. And breathe out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Can breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And you are slowly going to move into child's pose. So you're making a ball with your body your forehead is flat on the ground. Um, I like to start with my arms out in front of me to stretch out my back, but if that doesn't feel comfortable, you can lay them flat at your sides. If you're having a hard time breathing as you're kind of crunched up in that ball shape, you may um, widen your hips a little bit so that way your belly has some more room and make it easier to breathe. As you're in child's pose, hang out in this pose for a minute. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Continue taking those deep breaths. And then whenever you are ready, friends, you are slowly going to bring your body back up into a sitting position. Nicely done, friends. I hope you enjoyed child's pose. This is a very relaxing pose, really helps you to kind of clear your mind. So I know that now my friends are ready to learn here together with me. So we know that we have been working on all week. Our learning goal is I can understand shapes. We focused on 2D shapes. Today we're going to introduce 3D shapes. We're also talking about uh, shapes and their attributes. Attributes are just those characteristics. What makes a shape a 2D shape? What makes a shape a 3D shape? Okay, what makes a triangle a triangle and a square a square? Those different things um, that characterizes each shape, like those vertices, the sides, the angles, all of that good stuff. So that's what we've been focusing on together this week. So I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer. We're going to review our geometry vocabulary chart, and then I'm gonna teach you a new mirrors on activity for us to practice it here together. So when we were focusing on 2D shapes, we talked about how shapes have sides. Those are the straight lines. They're line segments that make the outline of the shape. And then when those line segments come together, they make the vertices, the pointy corners. 
And so inside those vertices are created angles. So they're inside of a vertex, a right angle is 90 degrees, which is what you see in all four corners here. Um, 2D shapes also have examples of parallel sides. These are two lines that are opposite or sides that are opposite like these two here and these two here. And then they will not intersect or cross. So we focused on this when we were talking about 2D shapes. Now we're gonna focus on 3D shapes. So you still have these edges, the line segments where the faces meet. And then again, the vertices are the pointy corners where two sides or two edges meet. And then 3D shapes also have faces. A face is a flat surface formed by a 2D figure. So this would be a face right here. And then lastly, they also have a base. A base is the bottom face. So think of your base as like the base of the shape where it would stand up um, on, and it would sit flat on that base. All right, friends, are you ready to try our mirrors on activity to practice some of this geometry vocabulary and learning about 3D shapes? All right, so as a reminder for all of my friends at home, mirrors on is, I'll say mirrors on, and then you repeat everything that I say and do until I say mirrors on. Are you ready to go ahead and try it? So this is gonna be a little bit different than the one that we've done earlier on this week, because now we're focusing on 3D shapes. All right, ready? Mirrors on. 3D. Shapes, also called solid shapes. 3D shapes have faces. Those are the flat sides. They also have bases. These are the bottom faces. They have vertices, the pointy corners. They also have edges. Those are the straight lines. Mirrors off. Nicely done, friends. So now we were able to practice some of that geometry vocabulary. So 3D shapes are also called solids or solid shapes. So we also talked how they have faces. Those are the flat sides. They also have bases. Those are the bottom faces. They also have vertices, the pointy corners. And then they have edges. Those are the straight lines. Nicely done, friends. I'd also like to teach you a little chant about 3D shapes. Are you ready to repeat after me, friends? Okay, all right, ready? 3D shapes are fat, not flat. A cone is like a party hat. A sphere is like a bouncy ball. A prism is a building tall. A cylinder is a can of pop. A cube is like the dice you drop. 3D shapes are here and there. 3D shapes are everywhere. 
nicely done friends. So now we're going to look at these 3D figures here. We'll go through that chant and I'll show you different examples of each. So our first one that you see here is a sphere. This is what a sphere looks like. So it is, a sphere is like a bouncy ball. And you can see it drawn out right here. So a sphere has zero faces. Those are the flat sides. There aren't any flat sides in a sphere. There also aren't any edges. Those are the straight lines. So we can see because a sphere is a round ball, there are no faces, no edges, no vertices, or pointy corners. But it definitely does roll. So you can see a little check for rolls right there. So here's a sphere. I say, you say, sphere. Nice. All right, next. A cone is like a party hat. So this is what a cone looks like. Okay, it has one face. Those are the flat sides. Its face is the base, right? That is what would make it stand or sit flat. So the only flat side is the base. So one face, zero edges because it is circular. And the edges are the straight lines. There aren't really any straight lines in here. It does have one vertice or vertex, a pointy corner at the very top there. And a cone does roll. Because again, it's got that round shape to it as well. So a cone is like a party hat. Next, a cube is like the dice you drop. So here is a cube. Okay, so you can see it here. It has a lot. <laughs> so it's got six faces, the flat sides. Are you ready? Let's count them here together. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six faces. It has 12 edges. Edges are the straight lines. There's a lot of straight lines here where they are connecting those lines together. It has eight vertices or the pointy corners and it does not roll because it is not a round shape at all. So this one is cube. I see you say cube. Nice. All right, next up is, this is called a square pyramid. I say, you say square pyramid. Nicely done. Here is a square pyramid. Okay, so it's got a square for that base there. And so it has five faces flat sides, one, two, three, four, and then five, the base as well. So five faces. It has eight edges. Those are the straight lines. Four for the base and then four for the triangle part at the top there. And then it has five vertices, the pointy corners, and it does not roll because it does not have a round shape. So this is our square pyramid. Next is cylinder. A cylinder is like a can of pop. That's another word for soda. So this here is our cylinder. I say you say cylinder. Nicely done. There are two faces, flat sides, the top and the bottom. There are zero edges. Those are the straight lines. There also are not any vertices or pointy corners because there are no straight lines or edges. And because a cylinder is again a round shape, it definitely rolls. All right, and then the last two are both prism. Prism. So the first one is called a rectangular prism. I say, you say, rectangular prism. Nice. So here is an example of a rectangular prism. 
So it is like a rectangle, but it is fat, not flat. And a rectangular prism is like a building tall. So it has six faces, flat sides. It has 12 edges. So this is kind of very similar to the cube, right? Six faces, 12 edges, and same thing, eight vertices. And it does not roll. Because again, it's got that square or rectangular shape. And last but not least is our triangular prism. I say you say triangular prism. Nice. Yeah, some of these words can be a little tricky, right? So triangular prism has five faces. It has nine edges, six vertices. Those are the pointy corners and it does not roll because it does not have a um, round shape to it. This one I always like to think of like a tent, like when you're going camping. All right, friends. So I thought that we could do a little bit of shape sorting. So I'm going to hold up an everyday object picture and you're gonna help me decide where it goes on our chart, which shape is it? All right, so the very first one here, friends, is this toy block. What shape is this? What do you think, friends? What shape is this toy block? If you said triangular prism, you are absolutely correct. Nice job, friends. All right, next one. So you can see this sort of triangle shape there, triangular prism for that one. Make sure I gotta mix mine up really nice and good. Okay, next one is, what shape is this? Do you see it on our chart here? A sphere. If you said sphere, you are absolutely correct. Our earth is a sphere. I also usually think of like a globe as a sphere shape as well. All right. What shape is this, friends? Do you see it on our chart anywhere? If you said a cylinder, you are absolutely correct. Nicely done, friends. A cylinder is like a can of pop. And there's our soda can right there for you. Perfect. All right, next one is this uh, signal tower. What shape would this be? Do you see it on our chart up here? Yes, if you said square pyramid, you are absolutely correct. This signal tower would be a good example of a square pyramid. All right, next one. What shape is this? If you said a cube, you are absolutely correct. And it's even in the name, right? This is an example of an ice cube. You can see it starting to melt there. Ice cube it is in a cube shape. A cube is like the dice you drop. Right, what shape is this next one? This one's kind of a funny one. And it's very pertinent to uh, what is going on with our COVID-19 pandemic. <laughs> what shape is this, friends? Yes, so toilet paper or a toilet paper roll is an example of a cylinder. Nicely done, friends. All right, so that one is a cylinder. The two faces, zero edges, zero vertices, and it definitely rolls. All right, what about this one? Do you see it up here anywhere?
Yes, if you said cone, you are absolutely correct. A cone is like a party hat. And here's a perfect example of a party hat. <laughs> so that is our cone. All right, next. What about this right here? Yes, if you said triangular prism, you are absolutely correct. This little block of cheese here would be an example of a triangular prism. And you can even see that triangle face that it has there. Nicely done, friends. All right, next one is this. Looks like a box that got delivered to your house. What shape would this be? Do you see an example of it up here on our chart? Yes, if you said rectangular prism, you're exactly correct. It looks like a rectangle, right friends? But it is fat, not flat. So it is a rectangular prism or 3D shape. All right, next one is a soccer ball. What shape would a soccer ball be? Or really most um, balls that you would use for sports would be this shape. What do you think, friends? Do you see it on our chart here? Yes, if you said a sphere, you are absolutely correct. So baseballs, basketballs, soccer balls, bouncy balls, all sorts of golf balls, um, tennis balls, all of them would be that sphere shape. So round, but fat, not flat. So it would be a sphere. Ooh, what about this one? What shape would a Lego be? If you said rectangular prism, you are absolutely correct. Nicely done, friends. Hopefully this is starting to make sense as we're seeing all these different examples. If not, it's okay. We are here to stretch our brains and really help us to learn new information. So um, it is good for us to practice and make those mistakes so that we can learn. All right, what do we have next? What about this alarm clock? What shape do you think this alarm clock would be? What do you think, friends? If you said triangular prism, you are absolutely correct. You can see that triangle shape there. So it would be an example of a triangular prism. You're really getting good at this, friends. Nice job. <clears throat> All right, what about this? This is a metronome. And a metronome helps to keep the beat when you're playing music. What do you think? Yeah, this one's kind of tricky. It kind of seems like it maybe could be a triangular prism because you can see that shape, that it's kind of like triangular, but it is a square pyramid. Square pyramid. It's got that flat base and then the um, sides come together there at the top. What about a box of tissues? What do you think, friends? What shape, 3D shape or solid shape, would a box of tissues be? If you said rectangular prism, you are correct. Nicely done. All right, let's see. What about this delicious looking ice cream cone. What about the ice cream cone part? It's in the name, isn't it? <laughs> it sure is. Ice cream cone is a cone shape. What about the ice cream on the top? What shape would that be? Yes, nicely done. So if you scooped out a um, like a round ball of ice cream, it would be a sphere that goes on top of that cone part. Nicely done, friends. OK, 
Okay, let's see, what else do we have here? I've got a glass. What shape would this glass be? Yes, it would be a cylinder, right? It looks exactly like a cylinder there. All right, let's do one more. Okay, what shape is this? Do you see it on our chart here anywhere? Yes, nice memory. I could hear some friends say, a cube is like the dice you drop. So it was right there in our chant. It is a cube. Dice would be a cube, or at least this type of die. I know there's lots of different types of die out there. All right, friends. So before we go for today, I wanted to kind of give you a little riddle and see if you can figure out what it is. So what am I? And I'm going to explain the different attributes of this 3D shape and see if you can guess it. I have eight edges, five vertices, and five faces. What am I? What shape has eight edges, five vertices, and five faces? I am a square pyramid. Nice. If you got it, you are amazing. That is awesome. Try to be thinking about it in your head. Okay, if the faces are the flat sides, the edges are the straight lines, and the vertices are the pointy corners. All right, here's another one. This will be the last one that we do here together. I have zero edges, zero vertices, and two faces. What am I? I have zero edges, zero vertices, and two faces. What am I? Nice, I'm hearing some friends, you got it. It is a cylinder. When I hear right off the bat, zero edges and zero vertices, I'm thinking a round shape. So, and but it does have those two faces, so it's not a sphere, it would be a cylinder. Nicely done, friends. You rocked it with this. You are amazing at our 3D shapes. They are fat, not flat. And we talked about all of those different terms that go along with it. The faces, the bases, those are your flat sides. And your base is just that bottom flat side that it would stand on. We also talked about the edges are the straight lines and the vertices are the pointy corners. You did such a wonderful job, friends. We'll practice this again tomorrow. Thank you for all of your hard work. I'll see you next time. Bye. Teaching in Room 9 is made possible with support of Bank of America, Dana Brown Charitable Trust, Emerson, and viewers like you.